What's up everyone? Uh, my name is Terrence and this is my fish room. Today I'm going to do a water change because for the next two weeks um, the water from my faucet is going to be very, very, very high in chlorine and chlorine because I live in an apartment and I'm going to do a water shutdown for one full day to clean out the system, the drainage and everything so there will be no water tomorrow whatsoever. Today is my best bet to do a water change and um, hope to show you the process and, and the journey of this and um, today I'm going to be doing a water change for this tank. Uh, I have the Asian Arowana Red Tail Gold Arrow getting his water changed. Uh, this, well, the motor is on, I'm about to stir the water or the, the green in the bottom. And I don't know if you can see him from up, but he is very pretty from up top. Um, yeah, let's stir the water. So as you can see, when I stir it, it gets cloudy. And that's all the debris that's going to get sucked up into this. As you can see, I'm going into it. You see that? So that's how I clean my tank in a <clears throat> three foot tall tank. Let's see when this water gets down to halfway or more. Peace. Around 30. Now it's dropped a little, but the temperature is still okay. And um, this temperature is actually very good for arowanas as well. And <clears throat> I think it's gonna be around no lower than 26 or 25 ish uh, have this dual heater system and here's this peak of my sump without water uh, lucky bamboo at the very end with that super duper motor that i'm going to give you uh, a video of and um, plants um, also nubius and i guess a big version of the nubius or some something pothos here and these pothos have grown quite a bit since I planted them in here and here there's some um, lava rocks uh, coral here and the rest are just uh, these midi media balls and um, I one thing that I have to change is this thing here is white because I changed it this morning so I have to change this about every day or a day and a half and I just cut it to, to size and um, all the gunk and stuff gets trapped in it and um, passes in and it's everything's actually quite clean um, thing growing here is just kind of more or less dust and maybe dirt type of thing um, but it's no real serious algae issues or anything and once it gets here the water has to be very pristine in the almond leaves i keep here for now because this tank is so tall i have to one day plant them in i'm hoping so they have that beneficial bacteria that breaks down the in the almond leaves and have that process being done here while it's not floating into my drainage system into my sump because this is a huge motor that water jets out and it gets really calm uh, having this tray here so <clears throat> yeah I'll keep you updated when it's uh, nearly full pretty close to being full <clears throat> The water level is way more than halfway now. It won't be long until it's full. And then once it gets to the top, uh, it'll slowly drain to the sump. The sump will slowly have water come up around this level here. Uh, water may flow downwards a little and I can take this out. One thing though, uh, I mentioned my arowana does not like water changes and he wasn't happy. I just know him very well. He's a, grew a lot since I got him, around six inches. And uh, his color is definitely not showing um, on camera very well. 
Um, but if you can see his mouth kind of opening and closing, he's doing very subtle right now. But in regards to his mouth doing that, he never stop. He never does that. He never actually, I've never seen him do it other than eating with food in his mouth and dragging it around the aquarium. But he's definitely in panic mode right now. Um, his mouth was opening and closing quite big earlier. Um, and he, I did see him gasp for, for air because of panic, not because of oxygen. The water temperature is supposed to be lower. I need to keep an eye on the temp. And as long as it's not under 26 or under 25, should be okay. I don't want it to be uh, to fluctuate that much. Um, but this is a, a quite tall of a tank and quite large of a tank. So the water temp usually um, 80 or whatnot, 90% of the time, I don't need to worry about it. Like today, I think we'll be okay with such a large water change. But yeah. Arrow, I need to give him a different name, but not because of the water coming down like that. He just does not like water changes, and he is definitely, he's not happy. 